Oke, okay, uh, saya Manohara dan saya sekarang lagi ada di AFJ Animal Friends Jogja. So the first dog I adopted namanya Molly. Jadi I adopted dari salah satu shelter di Jakarta. She was very frightened of people, especially men. Jadi maybe in her past aku nggak tahu latar belakangnya apa dan shelter pun nggak tahu. Tapi dia memang sangat nervous awal awalnya, sangat agresif sama makanan. But yeah, I've had her for five years now. She's much better. Dia udah berteman sama anjing anjing yang lain. Udah nggak se nervous dulu. Sama strangers juga udah oke. Okay. Udah nggak agresif juga sama makanan itu salah satu. So, kenapa adopsi lebih baik daripada beli? Kalau lihat di pet shop lucu segala macamnya, you have to see behind where those puppies come from. Unfortunately, we have these things called puppy mills, and they're basically puppy factories. They don't care about the health of the mom dog or the dad dog. It's really sad. Again, it's basically dog factories. Uh, they're very sick. They don't get breaks in between pregnancies. Basically, a female dog is caged and is forced to be pregnant over and over and over again without getting any breaks. And uh, if you feel bad for the puppies and you buy one, actually, you're just contributing to that business. So it's much better to adopt in a lot of ways. It's much more ethical. You're not supporting a very cruel business that are exploiting these dogs. For But again, it's very important to be responsible, understand that it's a long-term commitment. If you're not sure what you'll be doing in the next two, three years, and you don't know um, nasibnya ini anjing akan gimana, mending jangan. Karena sayang sekali, sering uh, di Jakarta or everywhere actually, ada keluarga yang adopsi anjing. Expats juga banyak sekali kasusnya anjing-anjingku ada beberapa yang rehome dari expat tiba-tiba pindah terus anjingnya nggak mau dibawa ke negara asalnya mereka. So that really upsets me because kalau memang tahu seperti itu, why adopt in the first place? You know, it's very stressful for the animal to have to keep moving homes. So be a responsible owner, know what your limits are in terms of space, in terms of budget, and that way you can sort of assess what size animal you, you can get to and make sure you live in an area where they're okay with having animals. There's another app that's popping up that I find personally very, very cool. It's called Adopsi. It's now available on Android and hopefully App Store soon. So yeah, basically it's a platform that connects people who want to have a dog or a cat, adoptable dogs or cats, reach out to people who are looking to adopt. It's a very easy interface, it's just like Instagram, you scroll through all the pictures of uh, the cats or dogs, you sort of click on a picture that speaks to you, you read their profile, and you can directly contact uh, the person who has said dog or cat. So it makes things so much easier, yeah, you don't have to, you know, go to places first, and yeah, I highly recommend that you check it out. So this app is made by really cool young people up and coming in the tech world and they need our help they need our support to get this app going and one way you could do that is donate at www.kitabisa.com support adopsi app <laughs>